What is up guys, Extra here, and here is this. I'm here to present you one of my teams I made uh, featuring Pursuit Metagross and Sub Combine Keldeo. So, this team's main goal is to let Metagross trap psychic types and deal with uh, poison and other uh, psychic types that counter Keldeo, such as Venusaur, Amoongus, Latios, and all of that stuff, and then let Keldeo set up a, a successful substitute and sweep with uh, Calm Minds. So, Metagross here, we have a uh, Meteor Mash, Pursuit, Ice Punchings, and Headbutt. Meteor Mash is for Fairy types, uh, which will also threaten uh, Keldeo sweeping, and uh, Pursuit, which is man uh, the main goal of this whole team, is to Pursuit Trap the Laddies. And Ice Punch is to deal with uh, Guard Charms and Land or Syrians and Zen Hepa is just a great move in general that there was just Amoongus, Venusaur, and other bulky psychic types that trouble uh, Keldeo. So, our second Pokemon here is Keldeo. So, Keldeo is uh, one of the best Pokemon in the OU metagame right now. Uh, and honestly, the sub call mindset is not used as much as uh, before because right uh, currently the Scarf set and the Specs. Spe specs set is the most, I wouldn't say the best, but uh, the most common right now. So, uh, movesets are pretty standard, the EVs are pretty standard, max special attack, max speed, and then force for death uh, to hit as hard and fast as possible. Uh, this set actually beats uh, Magic Guard to Fable 101 on the Switch, so if you substitute on the Switch and proceed to Calm Mind, then you actually beat to Fable 101. So, the third Pokemon here is a uh, Breloom. Uh, you may notice that we have two fighting types here, which is to benefit from the fact that Metagross and Pursuit Trap do many of the counters to these two. While uh, Keldeo also uh, helps with Metagross's counters, so Metagross can also clean up late game if necessary. So Breloom here is Adam in nature to hit as uh, hard as possible since it's, it's pretty mediocre. It has Spore, one of the best moves in the game. Sword Stance for uh, setting up Bullet Seed and Mouth Punch. So, while Metagross can be dealing with all the checks to Keldeo, uh, Breloom can also put in some work by Priority Mouth Punch, dealing with Weavile and all the stuff like that, and Keldeo being able to sweep in the end. So, the EVs are uh, pretty standard, 252, 252, and 4, to hit as hard and fast as possible. So. Well, uh, when we got these three Pokemon down, you might be thinking, how do I deal with Talon Flame and stuff? So this is where I added Lando T. Lando T is just one of the best walls in general in the game. While uh, it can also set up rocks, U-turn out, and pressure many uh, bird, bird spam teaming such as Mega Pinsers, uh, Talon Flames, and all the other stuff. So the EVs here, we have 252. Uh, HP to be uh, to increase its longevity as much as possible. Impish nature to have a raise in its defense. 240 defense. 8 special defense allows it to live a uh, HP ice from an extra that full. And 8 speed allows it to outspeed modest magma zone. So, uh, after these four Pokemon were set, it was pretty much the these these four were the core of the team. What was Landris counting, countering all the bird spamming and Redoom Kelio, uh, proceeding to sweep after Metagross, uh, takes out all their counters. So, the next Pokemon we added was uh, I added uh, was Sundarus, and uh, the reason I had Sundarus was because as far as uh the team went, we don't have much speed control except for Map Punch and Redoom, and we didn't have a scarf as well, and most of our Pokemon was quite slow. So this is where I added Sundarus for uh, speed control. So Sundarus is a really really good Pokemon with Prankster Thunderwave. It can uh, defeat a whole defeat whole teams by itself if with Thunderwave and Nasty Plot. So the the reason I ran Nasty Plot over moves such as Focus Blast and all those stuff is because. We have two fighting types on the team already, and I don't really need another fighting coverage on Sunrise to be able to function properly. And Sunrise can also act as another win con for the team if uh, 
they uh these three Pokemon didn't perform well. So we have Nasty Plot here for uh potentially sweeping in the end. Thunder Wave, which is the most important move here to be able to spread paralysis and cripple mons. Southern Pole is the main stab and hidden power ice for the Garchomp's Landos, Lando Tees, and other monsters such as Caldons. So the EVs are pretty standard, 252 special attack, 252 speed, and 4 in H uh, HP. And so uh, after we got this much of, uh, of the team done, uh, we have rocks, we have uh, setting up a sub CM Keldeo, we have so SD Braden with Spore, we have Pursuit Meta Mega Gross, and we have Speed Control and Sunrise. Uh, the last one we need was probably just a Hazard Removal and a Strong Hitting Run in general. So, this is where Laddie just fit in. Laddie fits into any OU team. That's for, uh, and it just provides really great Defog support and uh, hard hitting Draco Meteors, hard hitting Side Shocks, and Medicals can also take care of Fairy types for Laddie, allowing him to spam Dracos as much as you want. And Roos is just for a long activity here for, uh, def uh, for more Defog opportunities. So, I really like this team. And this is a team that I uh, built for this first team builder of mine. And from now on, for every team builder, there will be a live accompanied with it, which will come out in uh, about uh, in between 48 hours from the team builder video. So there will be a live on Pokemon Showdown here and uh, featuring this team, which is a really, really cool team. And you guys can try it out. It's pretty easy to play with, honestly, and except for the, uh, some trapping, which you need to be a bit skilled at. So that is all for this video. Make uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to click the like button down below and subscribe if you want. And the live should be coming out in forty-eight hours.